Tired of inhaling toxic fumes coming out from your soldering iron? Uh huh. Then, my friend, today we are going to build this cool little fume extractor, which you can tilt and adjust height. Isn't it cool? Sivam is here, so you don't need to go anywhere. Let's get started. Hi guys, so today I will be showing you how to make a DIY fume extractor. So I have built this whole design in FreeCAD and lot of experiment has went down here. And as you can see, this is a filter which I got for around 15 or 20 dollars. This is a like carbon filter and you can get this is used in air purifiers and yeah and I have cut it like this and it was really difficult to cut so the best way to cut I found was like just put this fan and you will need this fan. This is Arctic uh, what do you say this is Arctic uh, P12 fan and this is a slim fan yeah and let me just uh, show you how thick it is and if I will yeah it's 25 millimeter thick and this is 120 by 120 okay and the best thing to just do is just put your fan here and just take your knife here and here okay so this is for the cutting part and uh, after you get this like yeah here we will get uh, this filter which will go here and here is this casing this is how it looks and it's not that great because uh, one thing what happened is initially i was planning to print it like this and but breezing did not happen and uh, what we were planning to do is like we had these honeycomb so we would just like put it in the rails which we made so it will go uh why is it not going so it will just go and uh, like it will <laughs> stuck stick like this and in the rails there uh, was like a space for everything but turns out it was having printing issues and uh, this design is there as well so you can try uh, getting these from patreons and customize it and uh, one thing is this yeah, this is how we made and other modification is like we modified this a bit i have not printed it as well for right now so yeah this is the design which we have right now and uh, this is in just one single print with no support there is just bit of issues here as you can see here it is like bit of issues so we have added support here so like it should be gone by then if you print and uh, what happens is like we just put this fan and make sure before you put to figure out the cables so to figure out the cables what you have to do is and uh, as you can see here you, you need two uh, cables which is for uh, 12 volts right so let me just grab the 12 volt uh, supply and i'll show you how this spins so if i connect this wire uh, with these two so it should spin just make sure so the key is you will cut the wire off like you will cut this part off and you will just uh, stay with this and we will only need two so we will be removing these two as well so the simple identification is you see these lines so these are the colored gray so this will be your uh, negative and this will be positive so if i connect negative and positive like this so as you can see it starts spinning you can get a powerful fan as well but i got this uh, it's like very popular and lot of people use it so let's see okay so get these wires and we will remove these so we don't need other pwm pins so i'll just it's here so i'll just cut it off okay so here we go we have got these two wires we will connect a uh, what do you say like dc jack here maybe so to make it easier to remove and connect so let's put this fan together it is really cool design uh, 
uh, and the thing is the top part it is a snap fit so if we this is the cover so if we just like here are these uh, triangles here pretty hard to show but yeah and there are holes here so it will is fit here okay so if i just do this and so it just goes and it is pretty good and accurate because we made it it should be good and to just open this it is pretty simple just put some force or use a pry tool like this and insert it okay and yeah it's it's pretty easy to open okay let's put our fan together and uh, there is a hole for the fan here yeah so as you can see there is this hole here we go there we have it okay now we will insert our bolt so that we can fit this in our stand and here how it looks like yeah it's it looks cool is it i don't know maybe let's put this thing back we don't need this anymore yeah so it is pretty cool right now as you can see and we have got our stand and it is pretty easy to put these together so you put this and take this and just insert it if it doesn't go uh you just apply some force and that's it this is how the holes are looking and uh, i have these so what you can do is simply just insert this at whatever height you want okay let's take this one we will need two obviously it is pretty and i'll put it in the same way so make sure like these have this pattern so you are facing the opposite one so it will go like this and it will stay from here okay all right guys so here i got the new washers which has bigger holes so that your things can fit easily right so those were the small babies and here so the pattern one will uh let's just make it a stick here yeah like this maybe you can just glue it here hot glue or super glue so that it doesn't move at all and one more tip i am giving you is that you can use these uh, rubber washers so you can just get them like hundreds of them in just few bucks and you can just put so that like it has a really good grip but in this case this fan is really light so i will just put this here and put this here and uh, i will just so here we go so i will just put these and guys you need to make sure that the blade side of fan is facing the grill not the filter okay i had to put it back now let's put our diy fume extractor to the test and as you can see our carbon filter is working it is sucking all this smoke or fume whatever you want to say and it works if you are near if you go too far it doesn't suck so there we have it our own diy fume sucker If you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe like share and do whatever you want you can also support my work on patreon and you will get lot of benefits there as well and press that bell icon see you soon